Yo, what's up everybody? Happy January to you, 2024. Today's workout is gonna be 10 by 10 squats. I'm gonna start the year off with some serious volume. Uh, before the year ended, I was uh, moving up to my five rep maxes uh, and I achieved that. So now it's gonna be volume, 10 by 10, then an eight by eight, then a six by six again, and then a five by five. And then a five, three, five, two, five, one, then one rep max we'll find. So that's about a two month journey. So let's get it. Nice. This is how I want to start the year. Good intensity. I've been training for like three to four years of maintenance. Um, but this is year where I'm stepping up intensity again, just because it feels good. Only reason and it's tons of fun. Hooey. All right, let's do a set of arms while I say what I did today. We started way up to 10 by 10 on the Smith machine. It was fantastic. It was super fun. Uh, lowered the weight, kept the intensity, and every minute on the minute, I would accomplish uh, my 10 sets. It felt really, really good. Then I moved on to um, knees to elbows. Uh, I did five sets of 10 to 12, and then I did leg extensions. I don't know how many sets, I lost track, but I went as heavy as I could, as many reps as I could, and dropped three times from there, cutting in half each time um, to do max out reps. Then I did the good girl machine, legs together, adductors, it felt so good. I really love that machine. And then I uh, moved on to hamstrings, <sighs> tricep extensions, dips, and now here I am telling you my workout. And I kept the rest short, which felt really, really nice. And I'm focusing on just that intensity. I don't really have much to train for other than life itself and to age gracefully, deal with um, any aches and pains, sicknesses I may get uh, in the best manner because our body is a great deceiver. Remember that. Oh. Good, thanks. Good finish. Hope you have a great day. Whew. Family community. 
Takže... Now, this is a very real thought that I just had. Um, so the topic is conflict, like war, soldier, um, trenches, uh, dying in the fields, cold, uh, exposure to the elements to die from the cold, uh, wildlife, famine, uh, low water supply, many different obstacles that uh, soldiers have to go through. So when I say the word soldiers, what is your assumption? A fighting age male, somebody who is chosen or conscripted to join the forces. Well, that's true, but uh, lived firsthand experience. Um, we have trained through our 20 year war in Afghanistan, um, longer for the States in Iraq, um, Kuwait, um, and then Ukraine fighters, Russian fighters, um, you have um, um, Sudan, conflict, Conf Congo, Haiti, uh, all these places had children a part of it. And that's the point of this, children. Those children that survived watched their fathers get killed, their mothers get killed. Um, and they learned the tactics of the victors. So they got stronger and generationally they've been teaching it um, for decades now. And our children are kind of very, well, not kind of, very, very privileged that we can shelter them from um, the reality of other countries in the world. Not our reality, so it's no fault of our own. But we really need to, I think, emphasize for the next generation manners, politeness, respect, trust, earn, proper language, uh, not to swear, belittle, chirp others. Um, so that's what I'm hoping for and really strong and have good cardiovascular training because there's somebody climbing the ladder to take us down from number one and take our privileges uh, away, um, which is freedom of movement, freedom of press, um, freedom of activities and hobbies and, and just thoughts in general, um, a place that actually Canada is actually hate free, a beautiful nation, multicultural, strong, rich heritage of warriors and brilliant men and women, um, liberations, uh, First Nations. So we need to take account in all of that, remember that, and do our best to teach the next generation um, of possibly fighters. Very, very true. Oh. Cool.
Thank you for my thoughts. Adios.